A lot of questions about how the president's support for same-sex marriage uh, will play out politically. Uh, he could even potentially face a backlash from a key part of his base, the African-American community. Let's talk about that and more with our CNN contributor, Roland Martin. Uh, Roland, how's this going to play out? Oh, I mean, obviously, we don't know uh, because we're going to see what happens over the next several hours. Uh, I have talked to several pastors who were very strong. Uh, Obama surrogates in 2008, uh, words used were shameful and pitiful. Uh, they said they are going to be forced to have to stand before their, pul their congregations in their pulpits uh, and denounce the president's decision. Uh, and again, these are individuals who are not uh, conservative pastors. These are individuals who might be deemed to be liberal pastors, but they say they have a prophetic voice. Now, let's also understand historically, Deval Patrick, governor of Massachusetts, uh, he has also come out on this issue beforehand. It did not affect his reelection when you look at African-American votes. But I think one thing that we have to pay attention to, Wolf, is this here. We keep talking about what the national polls say in terms of a majority of Americans are supporting same-sex marriage. But the key we have to be looking at is what are voters saying? 32 times there have been referendums when it came to same-sex marriage. 32 times uh, the LGBT supporters have failed uh, to stop those. And so voters have spoken. And so I think we have to pay very close attention to the polls in the next seven to 10, seven to 10 days in states like Iowa, Virginia, North Carolina, uh, even Florida, Ohio, to see if this singular issue may very well move people uh, to shift from President Obama to Mitt Romney. I'm not necessarily sold on that, but it's something that we definitely have to pay attention to. Because uh, in the South, especially uh, African-American Baptists, whether in, in North Carolina, maybe even in Virginia, southern part of Virginia, shall we say, uh, uh, the, the support for the president has been historic, what, 95 uh, percent. Are you s suspecting, though, Roland, some of those African-American voters simply won't vote this time? Or would they actually go ahead because of this one issue, same-sex marriage, and vote for Mitt Romney? Well, first of all, um, what you have here is it's not just uh, black voters in the South. When you look at 95 percent who voted for president, uh, who then Senator Barack Obama uh, in 2008. And so he enjoys widespread support. Uh, I don't necessarily believe you're going to see people who say, you know, mass numbers say I'm going to now shift uh, to Mitt Romney. The concern, though, is whether or not you're going to have the same level of enthusiasm. And here's what's interesting. The argument that was used prior to this decision, and that was gays and lesbians have no other place to go but President Obama, is the exact same argument now being used against African-Americans saying they have no place to go. Now, what happened uh, on, on, on the LGBT side, we know through reporting, uh, many of them closed their checkbooks as a result of the president's, president's decision not to sign the executive order, not to come out for same-sex marriage. And so I don't believe you're going to see uh, massive peeling off of African-Americans, but I do think you have to pay attention to uh, the level of enthusiasm. I, you must pay attention to uh, the kind of statements that are going to be made by religious leaders. Uh, and so I don't think you're going to see that level of support, but, but in a close election, 50,000, 100,000 votes could very well make a difference. Ask Senator John Kerry about how this issue potentially affected him in Ohio in 2004. And so I think we pay attention to those state referendums. Again, 0 for 32 in support of same-sex marriage. That means voters have actually spoken. And so I'm going to be very curious to see what the poll numbers look like in those 12 critical states, uh, especially Virginia, Iowa, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Florida, even the western states over the next seven to ten days. Yeah, only six states in the District of Columbia allow same-sex uh, marriage. Uh, Roland, uh, your father is a pastor. Your no, wife's no, no, no. A, uh, no, no, my wife was ordained. My, my your, wife your was ordained a, your minister, wife's a minister, not my dad. My dad worked for Amtrak. Okay, all right, never mind. You got bad information. Uh, but your wife is a minister, and, I, and I, I give us a sense how you think this is all going to play out at African-American churches this coming Sunday. Oh, there's no doubt that you're going to see pastors address this very issue uh, in their pulpits on Sunday. Uh, because, again, you, you, you have an issue here that is very delicate, and that is if you are a pastor, you can take a partisan position or you can take a prophetic position. Uh, and so that's going to be really the issue there. 
I think what you're going to see, I think you're going to see pastors say they disagree with the president's decision based upon the Bible, based upon what Matthew 19 says. But I think you're then going to say uh, we also should not be focused on just one social issue and pay attention to the economy. And I think the Obama campaign likely is going to want to shift the conversation in terms of who is going to be better for you. But again, it's going to be very interesting. The exact same arguments that were used against gays and lesbians by saying where else are they going to go? Guarantee you you're going to hear the exact same thing take place when it comes to African Americans because of this issue. In the ABC interview, the president made it clear that his wife, the first lady, uh, agrees with him, supports same-sex marriage. Listen.